Apple nut bread might just be the 300th apple and nut recipe within this cookbook. I think I've only done one other recipe of that so far, but be that as it may, we're doing apple nut bread today. So come join me on today's episode of Grandma's Cookbook as we make <laughs> apple nut bread. First, you're going to need three-fourths of a cup of packed dark brown sugar. To that, you're going to add one half cup of butter or oleo, as it says in the recipe, and you're going to cream those together until they're creamy. Now, my uh, brown sugar was very packed within the bag itself, so it took a little bit of work and it was a bit crumbly. Next, you're going to add two whole eggs, but you're going to do it one at a time until each egg is completely incorporated into the mix. Next, you'll add two tablespoons of milk, mix that together, and then you're going to add the dry ingredients to the mixture, which consists of two cups of flour, two teaspoons baking powder, one half teaspoon baking soda, and one half teaspoon of the following, salt, ginger, cinnamon, and nutmeg. Then mix that all together as best you can. Once that's all mixed together, you're going to go ahead and add one and a half cup of chopped apples and then one half cup of chopped nuts. Mix that together with your hand as best you can because your hand mixer cannot handle this very thick dough. And then put it into a greased loaf pan and let it sit for 20 minutes to apparently let it hydrate. Although you could probably let this thing sit for 20 hours, it's not going to get any more pliable. Bake it in an oven at 350 degrees for about 45 minutes, and there you have it. Apple nut bread. How's it taste? It's very, very dry. Very crumbly. A hint of taste to it. It's, it's okay. Uh, you can definitely improve on this, probably by adding far more moisture to the dough. I thought that two tablespoons of milk was extremely light as far as liquid in this dough. So go ahead, give it a shot the way it is, or maybe make a few adjustments to it yourself. Either way, I'd like to thank you all for watching this week's edition of Grandma's Cookbook. We will see you very soon.